Hello gorgeous, I am back today and today I wanted to talk to you about how to receive. I know that from the comments that I saw in one of my previous videos that this is a topic that a lot of women currently struggle with. We have forgotten how to receive and oftentimes when we are trying to receive it can feel like there's strings attached or maybe there's something we have to pay back and yet some other groups of people i would say in the basic babe stage you can come across as entitled if you're trying to receive right so one way to look at it is the basic babes will often receive in a way that or try to receive in a way that feels entitled to everyone else the self-aware barbie is so afraid to receive she's completely closed off from it in fact she thinks that if she receives that there's like some kind of a payback or a price or she's gonna have to do something in return that may not be something that she wants to do so we want to get to the million dollar stage the million dollar babe stage is the stage where you are able to graciously receive without giving off that energy of entitlement or feeling like oh no now i have to do something in return or give something that i don't want to so the number one thing that um, i want you to understand is there is two aspects of receiving, right? There is the receiver and then there's the there's the giver and then the receiver. And it's actually almost like a circular reference because when someone gives and then someone receives and then this person gets something from their receiving, that's the closure of that loop, right? So we think, okay, they gave me something, now I got something, now I have to give them back. And because of that, we're all almost like distort, distorting that loop. So think of it this way. Think of a, a gift that you gave someone that you love, an absolute gift that you were very excited about giving. You went and you found this perfect thing for this perfect person and you wrapped it perfectly and you showed up and you handed it to them. Well how did you want them to receive it did you want them to take it and go like this or did you want them to take it open and say this is what you're gonna give me seriously i told you what i really wanted this is what you're going to give me or are you going to take it and immediately be calculating what you have to give them back in either of those three scenarios the the loop was never closed because you never really truly received what they gave you and because of that you weren't able to give them anything back that person receiving your gift would have given you an Im immersed amount of joy right like you would have been like oh, like what kind of a reaction were you expecting like you wanted their face to be lit up you wanted them to be excited you wanted them to like fully receive it in their receiving of that gift you would have felt met and seen and heard but that loop got broken. So your receiving something fully is giving back to the other person, okay? There's no need to have to like actually come up with anything tangible. In fact, it turns into a transaction when you do that, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about, and this one is way more important and something that I'm going to be teaching in the Aligned as Femme course, which is my embodiment course, and I'm relaunching it currently, so there's a huge discount for signing up. I highly recommend this course for you guys if you have trouble surrendering, um, receiving, or any of the more deeply divine feminine embodiment trainings. I'm going deeply on receiving and surrendering in this next round of that course and all previous students are always grandmothered in these new trainings. So here's the real thing about receiving. If you have been in the basic babe or self-aware Barbie stage for a really long time, what probably happened is you have put up a mask or an armor or this defense mechanism or this hardness because of how hard life has been. Maybe in the past you were given something and then asked for something in return. Or maybe you have given things to other people and were taken advantage of. All of these things can put these layers and armor and mask on us. And because of that, our literal tissue tendons our like body chemistry, our energetic makeup, our physical makeup, it all tightens up. So you become really, really hard in your embodiment. You know those women that like nothing can penetrate them. They're just like, they might as well be men, right? Like really, really hard, okay? So this is 
when this happens, when your like body and everything becomes really, really hard and rigid, when someone gives to you, you can't really receive it and they don't feel met. People don't like giving to people like that. Think of it this way. If you like saved up money and bought something really, truly amazing for your best friend and you showed up and she was just completely unwilling to or unable to receive that gift, how much more are you going to try? Maybe two times, three times until you realize that it's just not worth the effort to give to this person. Whereas maybe you have a niece or a nephew and children are a great example of that because they haven't tightened up and have become rigid. Their tissues aren't hard with story and trauma and all of that stuff yet, right? When you give to them, they just like tear up the, the wrapping and they're just like really, really excited about what they're receiving, right? You want to give to those people. You You want to... Like it just lights you up to see them so happy. You feel so met and so well received in that moment, right? So a truly feminine woman is a woman that's done her inner work. And because she's done her inner work and she's released all of that hardness and all of that um, yuckiness from her body, she softens up. Her tissues are soft, right? Her energy is penetratable, right? I think that's the correct way to say it. So think of it this way, the masculine is hard on the outside. They're literally like hard, their nervous system is denser. They're hard on the outside and they're soft on the inside. Once you get to know them, they're just, they're just soft teddy bears, right? For a woman, it's the complete opposite. For a woman, she's soft on the outside and hard on the inside. She's got a strong core of belief systems, of her faith, of her values. So when you have been holding your energy really, really tight because you think people will take advantage of you or you can't trust people or maybe you've been through some stuff, your tissues and your body and your embodiment, everything becomes so constricted and tight. You, you may think like, oh, I'm receiving, I'm receiving. Yes, Mina, I'm so ready. But the people that are giving to you, they can't really penetrate you and they're not feeling met. They're not feeling like you're really receiving what they're giving. You may be receiving at a level eight from your perspective, from on a scale of zero to 10, and they might be thinking you're receiving at a two because you oftentimes cannot see your own embodiment. In fact, one of the best practices that you can do is if you sit in front of the mirror, mirror and try to play back your reactions, um, you can, you know, look at yourself lovingly, uh, look, um, have a moment of joy and notice how you think you're looking and how you're actually looking, how people are actually seeing you. Okay. So you may be thinking, what? I opened the gift. I received it. I said, thank you. What else does he want? Right. But he may be feeling completely unmet because you're, you're just not soft. You, you, you can't penetrate and you can't be penetrated. And the divine masculine, the healthy divine masculine and penetrates and the healthy divine feminine receives. She's easily penetrated, yeah? So we wanna make sure that we're actually doing the inner work. Information is not embodiment. Information is all great because you know, oh, okay, I'm supposed to be doing this, but do you actually sit down and practice the embodiments that help you? Now, let me tell you, this has been a very difficult one for me. You guys know my history. You guys know my childhood trauma. This has been a very difficult one. But every year, the more and more embodied I become, the softer I become, the more I'm able to receive with joy, with even tears of joy and love and abundance because I can be penetrated now. And the way that people react to me now, the way they give to me, it's a completely different level than it was in my 20s when I was just hardened up from life, trying to just survive, right? I wasn't flourishing and blossoming, I was just surviving. But that's what I needed to be done, I didn't know any better. So to be able to truly, truly receive, you have to release all the tension and all the hardness from your tissues, from your embodiment. You have to start opening yourself up, your body up, your embodiment up. You have to literally become soft so that the masculine can penetrate you, okay? So that the giver is always the masculine. So any giver can penetrate you and you can really receive, okay? So this is the work we're gonna be doing really deeply in the Aligned as Femme group. I think this is the third run of that course, maybe fourth, I lose count. And all previous students are included. 
For the next 48 hours, I'm offering a early bird relaunch special. So it's going to be heavily discounted. Now is the time to sign up. And after the 48 hours, you can still sign up, but the price is gonna be a little bit more. So I'll see you in there. I love you. Bye.